Research on how children learn has inspired new ways of teaching science. One of those approaches puts research in the hands of student scientists as early as elementary school. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. A third grade teacher does it all. Teachers like Cindy Apolinski are doing even more, bringing new strategies and practices into the classroom every year with the help of professional development programs that many are engaged with right now during the summer break. We're not just students anymore. We're not students just doing science. We want to be student scientists. So you're pretending and working towards being what kind of scientist right now? Geologists, Geologists right? During science sessions here, Apolinsky's third graders don't listen to lectures. They make predictions, take measurements, do experiments, record observations, discuss different ways to interpret their data, and identify testable questions that could lead to new experiments. For them, this is the way you learn science. As most of the rest of us know, it hasn't always been this way. I went to school nine, I won't tell you how many years ago, um, but basically my science consisted of reading a textbook and once a month we'd have a model lesson, you know, provided to us by the, the science lady. And although it was, you know, fabulously enjoyable, I never really had a chance to put my hands on materials and talk to other students about what I was observing, what I recorded. In a typical class toward the end of the school year, the children first reviewed the difference between a rock and a mineral, then before working with the mineral calcite, they had to predict each sample's mass. Are you allowed to measure and then predict? No. No, that's cheating. You have to predict first. So right now, take one minute by yourself. They weighed samples and observed what happened to them in vinegar. Think back to when we used a different mineral and it didn't fizz. They went over their results and interpretations as a group. And you can disagree, but you better have some evidence. And in the process, they acquired more than facts. Experience with scientific ways of thinking, working, and communicating. We want them to do in the classroom what a scientist would actually do in the field, in the laboratory, whatever it might be. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Linden.